CrazyMikesApps.com with an Android and iPhone app video review for Appy Geek. This free tech news app has some very cool features, but lacks some of the best tech news sources, does not allow for custom content to be added, and has a ridiculous subscription model for Android users. To get started with this app, we're going to scroll down and just tap into one of the category images. We'll go into Android. Once you do, it opens up all of the different blog content or tech news for Android. Into mobile, talk Android, you can see the variety of news sources that I've added for this area. Now I went into this article. I'm sorry, I, I couldn't take it. They had this, how to use the iPhone 5 to get a free Nexus 4. And I read through it and I was expecting to find some cool information. And the information is, go get a contract and sign up for an iPhone 5, buy it, and then sell it to a friend or on eBay or Craigslist, take the money, and then go get a Nexus 4. And I, I left a comment. I never leave comments. And I was like, dude, really? And they actually responded back and defended it. Anyways, nice feature here is you have a bunch of little categories that are kind of in a mind map or a, a view there in 3D that you can go through. You can see that by accessing in the upper right, there's that little squiggly line. Now, when you're in an article, you can see how many there are and you can swipe to the left and right to access them. You see three of 258 to go down read. Here are the content providers. Again, I didn't find the big biggest, you know, tech news sources in here from, you know, that I'm aware of. So it feels like it's got a European uh, input to it. Not bad, but there's only a few and you can't add your own. Now, here's the Android view. Much larger, obviously, on my Samsung Galaxy Nexus. This is the way a video looks. Quite nice. It's by T3. Looks cool. It's not bad. They have a lot of good stuff in here. But the, the worst thing for the Android is the subscription model, which I'll show you in a minute. There's no revenue model for the iPhone. So iOS, it's free. Here's what it looks like. You can go in, same type of content. I'm in landscape mode. Tap on that, that article there, Samsung Galaxy Tab 2, 10.0, blah, 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 Business Insider, and you can read a variety of stuff. The funky thing, when you tap on that squiggly line, I found Engadget as one of the things to search for. So when I searched for it, and Gadget showed up as not a new source, it was referred to in an article. Kind of a bummer. Adding topics to your home screen in Android is very easy. You can actually do it with images so you can see what you're adding. In the iPhone, it's in list view, much better in the Android version. Now for the ridiculousness. There's a subscription model for Android users. It's a premium offer, $3.80 a month. Once you sign up in Google Play, you're charged each and every month just to get rid of the ads. This doesn't exist in the iPhone, and I suggest you don't do it because personally the news sources aren't that good. It is a cool free tech news app, but I wouldn't get the subscription. Till next time, see ya.